Hello everyone, welcome back. Please comment, rate, subscribe, follow, comment, subscribe, like the videos. Also share the videos. I wanna thank everyone that does like watching and share my videos. You folks are the absolute best. Listen folks, there's a link tree down below. Has the links to all of my social media platforms. Please go down there, follow me across all my social media platforms and talk to me because I'll talk back. Also down there as well as links to all of my YouTube pages. Please go down there, subscribe to all my YouTube pages and turn on your notifications so when I post content, you folks will be in the know. So with that said and done and put to the side, Come to talk to you folks today about Aaron Rodgers. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And uh, there's some reports coming in, okay? There's some reports coming in. And we're going to talk about this, okay? This just got put out. There's a report coming from Trey Wingo that the deal for Aaron Rodgers between the Jets and the Packers is done. And it's done that he's a New York Jet. Now, again, Keep in mind, this report is coming from Trey Wingo. Trey Wingo and Aaron Rodgers are very close. Trey Wingo was also the guy that broke the news about the Jets officials flying to go meet up with Aaron Rodgers and figure things out. So according to him, it's done, right? Now you also have Adam Schefter as well saying that there's mounting indications that the deal is done. Okay, some people are reporting that it's not done yet, but you got Trey Wingo saying that it is done, and you got Schefter saying that there's mounting indications that the deal is done as well. Look, I'm thinking it's done, okay? <laughs> it's done, all right? Aaron Rodgers is a Jet. And for all the naysayers and the haters and the people that knocked the Jets, and the people that disrespected the Jets, and the people that said the Jets would never be able to get the deal done, there is egg on your face now, isn't it? Isn't it? It feels good. It feels good to be a Jet fan. It feels very good. The New York Jets have finally figured out the issue and solved the issue at the quarterback position, bringing Aaron Rodgers in. Okay, look, Super Bowl winner, Super Bowl MVP, Four-time most valuable player of the league, right? Four-time first-team All-Pro. He also was a second-team All-Pro before. Ten-time Pro Bowler and four-time passer rating leader in the NFL. Just the accolades go on and on with this man. Aaron Rodgers is a phenomenal quarterback, and we all know that. And here we are where we're going to get him. Now, the compensation and the length of time and all that is not out yet, okay? Again, I'm going off of the initial report of what Trey Wingo is saying, that it's done and it's sealed. And we're going to figure out the compensation. But let me tell you something. I want to give a big shout out to Joe Douglas. Joe Douglas, is he's something else as a general manager. This man has figured out how to pull the New York Jets out of supreme darkness and bring us into the light. The drafts throughout the rebuild, everything that he's done to put this team in the situation that it's in right now to acquire this type of talent at quarterback to come in here and help us push forward and take the next step as a franchise is gigantic, right? Look at, look at what we've all been through in the past. Mike McCagnin, all the other bad general managers we had, couldn't get their heads out of their butts, couldn't figure out how to put us in the right direction, spinning around in circles trying to draft couldn't draft to save their lives overpaying free agents we were a circus at one point a circus and those days are over man those days are over we have a front office and we have a staff that has put us in the right direction that has finally made the jets a franchise that people look at and go yeah i want to play there they're about respect they're about going in there, handling business. This is a team that I believe I can go to and compete, not a team that I can just go to and get a check from and then get out of there, or a team that I can use to drive up my price that I want, and then I'll, 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 I'll dump them and go to another team. We're not that team anymore. And let me tell you something else. With this Jets acquiring Aaron Rodgers, we are also now a team that free agents are going to be looking at and saying, I see you. That's another big thing about this, right? We got guys that are out there. Some of them, a lot of people scream about Adam Thielen. He'd be good here. I tell you what, Alan Lazard, there's a lot of talk about him possibly becoming a Jet, right? 
A lot of rumors swirling surrounding him. He's a guy that we could use. Big body, can go up and get the football, can be unbelievably useful in the red zone. Of course, him and Aaron Rodgers have chemistry already. Him and Hackett, they'll be good to go too. Like, this is something that can really, really help the Jets pull in a lot of other players to really make this run. Especially when we look at everything else that we're going to be going up against the AFC. All the, the Chiefs and the Bills and all these teams and all these defensive players and weapons. And now we're going to be attracting weapons left and right to compete with the top people. Heck, the Dolphins just got Ramsey. We need as much firepower as we can. And they're going to want to be players that are going to want to come in here to play with that man A-Rod. The same way that there were players that wanted to come in and play with that boy Tom Brady when he went to the Patriots or when he was on the Patriots and then when he went to the Bucks. This is one heck of a move. This is one heck of a move by the New York Jets. But let me tell you something else. This makes the players that we already have here even more deadly. There's a man named Garrett Wilson on this roster. That is an unbelievable, freakishly athletic wide receiver. My God, had, a, had over 1,000 yards in his rookie year. Didn't matter what the quarterback play was. Awful dealing with Zach Wilson. Had a decent stretch with, with Mike White, and then Mike White was up and down as well. But it didn't matter. Garrett Wilson went out there week after week and put it on the line. Boy, oh boy, when Aaron Rodgers comes to town, when he puts that green jersey on and goes out there on the field, <laughs> Garrett Wilson's going to hit another gear, and the NFL's going to get a real low to him. You would just wait and see. Now, it's going to be interesting. All right, because, again, the compensation is not out yet. That's what I'm waiting on. The compensation and the length that he's going to be here. There's a lot of speculation that it's going to be two years. Some people say one. We'll see. And it's going to be interesting to see what the New York Jets give up. There's been a lot of talk about first rounders. Some analysts are saying second rounders. We will see. Right. It could include a player. There are also players that have been asking to be traded. Maybe they get traded. There's been a lot of rumors swirling that maybe the trade will include sending Elijah Moore to Green Bay. We will see, as of right now, that I am talking to you folks, the compensation is not out yet. So, we'll see what Joe Douglas does there. But I'll tell you what. Aaron Rodgers being a Jet is something else. It's something else. So, comment down below. Let me know what you folks think. Trey Wingo saying that the deal is done with Aaron Rodgers between the Jets, the Packers, for Aaron Rodgers. Let me know how you folks feel about it. What are your thoughts on it? Do you think this attracts any free agents to the New York Jets? Do you think there's players out there that were going to come here? Alan Lazard, Alan Thielen. There's a lot of talk about Jamal Williams as well. A lot of people want him on the squad. Okay. Comment down below. Let's go back and forth. You folks have a good one. Peace.